What do you do with an abundance of apples? You make homemade applesauce. Today I'm going to show you how I use my KitchenAid spiralizer and my crock pot to make some warm, delicious comfort food. It's the perfect fall recipe and oh so simple and oh so good. wondered about KitchenAid mixer. I never needed one before because I'm not a huge baker, but when they came out with this one with the attachment to do spiralizing or apple coring or apple slicing, I said, sign me up. So the handy thing about these attachments is they even have the little pictures here. So this is to cut an apple in like a, a spiral. I don't know what you call that that's what it looks like. This is like another like spiralizer. We've done zucchini before, another zucchini one, and that's just another um, spiral. I think these are for different, these are for different sizes. So this one is, yeah, see much smaller core, much, much, much smaller core. So that's not for an apple. This one is probably why they show the apple there. These up at Costco, Snapdragon apples. It says it's like, and I looked it up online, it's like a cousin to Honeycrisp. And then the Gala apples were the cheapest apples. So trying to be a little more cost effective, but wanted good, crisp, tart apples for this sauce. So first thing you do is you've got to find this little notch here and inside there's a square. So you've got to get this thing in here. And then, okay, turn that little knob to tighten it and you've got your peeler thing set up. Okay, then you take this piece, which is what holds the apple, and you put it in here and, oops, twist it into place. Then this piece is what's going to peel the skin. Hold this lever down and it slides right underneath into place there. And then the apple slicer. This, you can see this shape here. It perfectly matches up with the shape up here. So it just slides in. And then this is what you use to move the slider forward as you place the apple on. So test apple. Okay, so I have my crock pot in place. I already did an apple here. I've got my crock pot in place so it can just go right down there. And this is kind of acting as my garbage bowl right now. And let's see how this works. So here is my Snapdragon apple. I'm gonna put the core on there securely. Pushing that into place. This is a little bit off, so I might have to pull off some seeds. But. I'm just gonna grab this peel. Oh, look how juicy that is. It's like dripping. It's totally squirting on me. You can't even tell how much juice is coming out of this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna switch this bowl and the garbage bowl, but. Oh, this thing is like dripping with juice. So these Snapdragon apples. All right, I'm gonna put the crock pot back here and just throw them in there and I'm gonna make put my garbage bowl under here so it can catch all the peel. But you've gotta see the juice that's in here. I don't know if you could see it anymore. It was kind of really, it was really bubbly before. There is a lot of juice in there. Okay, so I'm putting the garbage bowl under here now. I haven't made this in a while. Under gala apple, gala, gala. Mm -hmm. 
Although the primary focus of this channel is homeschooling, it's also motherhood. And part of motherhood is finding delicious recipes to cook for your family. If you're enjoying this content, please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up. That is the best feedback that I can receive and it helps my channel out. Dumping it. Next. My sister in law, when she makes this applesauce, she will also add some cinnamon and vanilla, or maybe some pumpkin spice to it. But I am a plain, unsweetened applesauce girl. A lot of the re recipes will add sugar. I don't like that at all. I like just the apple flavor, even without the cinnamon. But I figure if my kids don't want the plain, sauce, then I can just add cinnamon to their bowl. Here are all of my peels. I did that many apples, so I left four because I thought this is full enough. I mean, this is pretty much to the top. It'll probably reduce down to about half of that. It's Always like sneak in the peels. Always sneak in the... Uh-oh. How are you going to get that with on a hoverboard? Wow. You are talented. Always sneak in the peels. They are really fun to eat, though. Okay, so oh, since I've already one. put these in here... I'm going to just keep an eye on it and I'm going to just time this. I'm going to do four hours and watch it. My crock pot is, how old is it now? It's pretty old because we got it when we got married. 16 years old, still going strong, but it does run a little bit hot. So, but four hours, we'll, t we'll test that. We'll keep an eye on it. I might add a little bit of water and lemon juice if it starts drying out. Like I mentioned, my sister-in-law, when she does the applesauce, which this one loves sister-in-laws. Yes. You, Is your sister-in-law? You love Aunt Lori's applesauce, don't you? It is so good. <laughs> well, she adds vanilla and cinnamon to it. I don't want to do that, I figure. I love this. I love cinnamon applesauce. Okay, well, you can add it to your own bowl. I'm just gonna keep ours plain Jane, unsweetened, and then everybody can season theirs the way they like. So a few hours and we'll have and warm applesauce on election day because for some reason I was thinking warm applesauce and in my head thinking, bye bye Miss American Pie. What? <laughs> I don't know. It's Can I put sprinkles in mine? That's gross. No, it's not. I love sprinkles okay. and applesauce. We'll see. All right. Simple crock, <laughs> <laughs> simple crock pot applesauce. There you go, as easy as you can get, especially if you have a spiralizer. That KitchenAid purchase was one of the best things that we ever did. I'm so glad that we didn't buy a KitchenAid mixer when everybody else was buying them. And when they came out with the spiralizer, spiralizer I said, and now is the time. Best purchase ever. I'm getting ready to go back to school. We just ate lunch, but I decided I am gonna add. I know, but I need to add a smidge of water in here just because I guess I am worried a little bit about them burning. So this is just a smidge of water since I'm cooking them on high and we will check on it in a little bit. All right, so it's really, only been about two or three hours like I said my thing burns hot and it smells like applesauce doesn't it no <laughs> you like cinnamon in yours you can add cinnamon but I am gonna try some okay now for the final taste test So 
warm apple sauce. It's almost as good. Okay, it's not as good as apple pie, but if you're on a diet, it's a pretty great substitute. This is excellent and so easy to make. I did end up adding a little bit of cinnamon um, when I was preparing my daughter's bowls, I was adding it to theirs and I thought, you know what, I'll just go ahead and throw a little bit of cinnamon in there to take down a little bit of the tart of the apples. The Snapdragon and the Gala apples taste really good. So homemade applesauce, it's better than the store-bought for sure. I am not um, necessarily a, not a meal prepper, I'm not a huge meal planner, but when I cook, my husband and I do consider ourselves semi-foodie. We're kind of like picky foodies, but we don't eat plainly. So when we make something, it's good. And I've got some recipes. So give me a thumbs up if you wanna see more of that.